tell the truth, would this be an episode without us starting on the finance screen and mentioning that we have no money? We do have a million to spend though. Don't quite know where we're going to get it from. So welcome to this episode of Build a Nation in Norway. This is episode two of season five. And today we have the first round of the cup against the Law League side as we look to build on because in the next episode, I do think it could be potentially our first ever game in European football. So let's have a look, see how our season has started and it has been a successful start. So you with us for Sogndal, a 4-0 victory. That was followed with another 4-0 against Hamkam. Slaveland, Berisha again, Sota and Zitman on the score sheet in that game. We then played Starbeck away from home, Berisha with another two and Slaveland again with a penalty, getting on the score sheet. We did then lose at home to Berda Glimt 1-0. We were actually the better team in that game, I would say. Um, we then went to Bran away from home and got a 2-1 victory. Uh, Berisha and Sort on the score sheet. Berisha's been scoring for fun. We then lost to Rosenborg at home, 2-0. Holm and Nielsen for them. And we have just beat Lilstrom away from home with our young defender Moen and Krog and Nazir on the score sheet. So all the youngsters get on the score sheet. And today we are coming up against Sprint, Jelly Moss in the cup now it's a proper low league side they play in the uh one two three they play in the fourth tier of norwegian football so it's going to be a an interesting battle but looking at how our season has started and let me go back to the easy view for you guys to see so top goal scorer so far this season with five goals and six starts is Vaton berisha 33 years old now um, he is only with us for this season, I think, but very nice that he's come home. Uh, three goals for Slaveland, all from the penalty spot. Two for Sotta, Zitman with one, Moan with one, Nazir and a few others with one. In terms of top assists, Volas with three, Knapskoog with two, uh, Scallon and Larsen on the, on the assist charts with two as well. Now, in today's game, we are going with a fairly strong squad because I want to try try in season five to have a good cup run so i did rest some players for that game against Dilstrom in the idea of having a successful cup run now i do have jack henry francis on trial with us at the minute 23 years old now came through the arsenal academy he's just been at everton recently in the save potentially could be coming in i'm not sure he looks decent 23 so still quite young but we're gonna to have to see how much wage he wants but i've brought him in on trial and i'm kind of just letting him hang around on trial at the minute because the longer they're on trial the less wage they sometimes expect and uh, one thing i'm going to put is i'm going to put our youngster horgan in for his first game of the season in this cup game because um learning learning's not played that well at 6.52 in the last five games but i do think our backup keeper can play today one thing to mention is since an update from Sports Interactive. The face packs aren't working properly. Some of them are working, but the ones who I added into the game, the likes of Fanny, the likes of Jurgensen, they are not working. So I need to try to work out why and see if I can get that fixed. Now, another thing to look at in this episode is our under 19s. So we are currently having a very, very bad first season in the top flight. We are sitting bottom. On seven points, only one win all season. Now, we do have we do have some players who are eligible, who are playing in our first team. But do we have any players who are eligible who can actually go and play for them? Because I kind of need them. Now, let's have a quick look. If we go on age-wise, it's under 19s. So, straight away, them three players could technically all play. But... They are in and around our squad. Like Zitman's a regular staff of the first team. He can't be playing youth team football. But he could. But I'd rather he wasn't. But he could. It's, it's a very, very tough call. But when I go to our under-19 squad, we are lacking depth in that squad at the minute. Going down again, relegated to the regional, wouldn't be the best thing. But maybe it's the only option at the minute. 
We are not developing the best players in the nation yet. We don't have the finances to bring in a few youngsters and have them playing in the youth team. We don't have the ability to keep them in the division at the minute, I don't think. So, unfortunately, they're going to have to battle through with the players they've got available. And we will see how it goes from there. But for now, it looks like it's going to be a very poor season for our under-19s. Unfortunately, our B team still sits in the 5th division. It's annoying because I'm kind of just constantly praying that they might bump up and just appear in the 4th division soon. But we can dream, can't we? Okay, so looking at today's live con then. Horgan in goal, uh, Fanny right back, Jurgensen, Midskugan going to be playing his second game of the season after injury. Skalner left back, Slaveland, Larson, Knapskug, Volas, Bergensen, and Berisha. Well, do we go Berisha or shall we give John Berisha? We're going to give John Berisha the start. I think John Berisha's good enough to score goals in this game and he was so good last year. I feel bad. Bad dropping him down for Veton Berisha, but sometimes when a legend returns home, you've got to accept it. Okay, it's a match we should be winning, so let's make sure we do. Um, I'm nervous, but excited. I think we're easily the best team. We are easily the better team here, but it doesn't guarantee a victory. It really doesn't. So let's just um, keep a check on our... Our stats to make sure players are passing and working well, like here. Less than 60% pass completion from Larson in the first 20 minutes. Slightly concerning there. Up to 60%, 64 so it is improving, but that tells me the first few passes of the game, he just completely gave away. Now, is he a player who starts slow? Or is he just having a bad day? It may be something in future games I should keep an eye on. Okay, come on. We've put out our best squad, minus maybe our goalkeeper and Berisha up top. But I'm expecting a win. I am expecting a win in this match. But they are passing it across the fence. They do go long now. Uh, Jurgensen wins the header. Knapskoog now to Larson. Larson plays it out wide to Volas. He goes inside to Knapskoog. Back out to Volas. Comes inside. Knapskoog now. Knapsku ducks and dives both ways. Is he going to get it? He does. Goes back to Fanny. Across to Larson. Forward. And we go 1-0 up. Bergensen. Assisted by Larson as well. Henning Larson. A pass completion. Come on. Sprint. Jeloy Moss. Nil. Eggerson's IK. 1. We go 1-0 up. A good passing move. Larson's at 72% pass completion now. I still would like it. I would like it higher, but as you can see, he does have one of the highest passes of the game at 29 attempted. Um, our central defenders with the highest. That's due to our goalkeeper always playing out to the central defenders as well. They do get on the ball more than anybody else. But Larson coming inside, goes past a couple, out to Fanny. Fanny hits the byline, puts it across. John Berisha heads it over. Oh, he should have scored. 100% he should have put that in the back of the net. Right, Fanny down the right-hand side with the throw in. Goes back to Jurgensen. Passes it into Slaveland. Forward to Larson. Forward again to Bergensen. Forward again to Berisha. And it's a goal. 2-0. Passing. Defence to midfield. To central midfield. To the wing. To the striker. Goal. Okay, so Berisha has his goal. So I'm going to take him off. And I'm going to bring on um, Ursal Because I would like him to get a goal as well. And that's the hope there, is bringing on that player with the specific reason of getting him on the score sheet and hopefully boosting a bit of confidence. Right, Scanlon at left back, plays the corner to Ursal, who's come short for it. But Scanlon again to Volas. Oh, edge of the box, tries to put it in the bottom corner. I do think um, Scanlon's been good for us this year, considering his passing ability. If you remember when we signed him, as we go, maybe it's offside. Maybe that's offside. No. No, it's not. The goal is given. Knaps Goog on the score sheet there, on the rebound, and we go 3 0. Yeah, but if you remember when we signed Callum Scallon, passing of only six, I was very concerned a left back to bring in someone who has such, such a 
low passing ability, but he's been solid. He really has. You can see there, 91% pass completion, 92%. He's been a good, good player for us in that position, 100%. Right, Green there drives forward, plays the ball over the top. They bring it down in the midfield. They go back to central defence. They're playing the ball well. They're passing it around nicely. They are trying to play football, this team. So fair play to them there. Against the top flight side, who's put out their best squad. They are still trying to play football. Scanlon, though, drives all the way into the box. Oof. Good effort from him there, putting it across. Okay, Bergenson. Bergenson driving forward to Knapskoog. Forward to Volas. Volas goes back to Fanny. Ball over the top. Volas again. Ball across, and there we go. There we go. Ursal on the score sheet. 4 0. Up on the hour. Very, very nice. I think I would like there, like Seth there, if you remember, was with us throughout from the academy, but hasn't featured that much. But I'm going to move him into the team just a little bit more, just because he's an academy player. So he is going to come in defensive mid, and also Kitman is going to come on for the last 20 minutes as well. As we continue to bed this young Dutch player in, we couldn't afford to send him on the intensive language course. So he's just bedding himself in off the bench, learning the language, seeing how he can play. I think the final two changes, Volas going to come off for Krog. And I'm also going to bring on Sorter on the left wing. So our two young wingers who have been with us for a few years now, like all of the squad, we, we really are holding on to a lot of these players and just keeping the same nucleus of the team around. They come forward. Have they got a chance? They have got it. Oh, he's offside. I almost feel bad for them. I mean, a clean sheep would be nice for Hogan on his first start of the season, but at the same time, kind of feel bad for them. Just checking the um, pass percentages for some of the players who've just come on. I saw a couple of hundred percents there. So if they've not put a foot wrong since they come on the pitch, it's very pleasing to see. Krog. Krog now. Oh, almost substitute to substitute. Got us a goal. Coming up to the 90th minute now. It's been a comfortable first round of the Cup. But we've not done well in previous years in the Cup. So I think it is important we try to put a... Strong side out. Uh, we are going to look at the league table, etc. in a second to end the episode. A funny drive down the right-hand side. Coming up to the 90th minute now. He goes all the way to the edge of the box. Knaps go with the strike. It goes over. But let's just see this game out now. 90% pass completion for defensive mid from Seth there. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Nice work, F1. That was good. And um, We played perfectly. I'm pleased with how we did. So that's us into the next round of the cup, which I think was important. And our, B our under 19s won as well. 5 2 over Lilstrom. Falco picking up a hat trick. He's awful. But looking at the first team, then, after seven games of the league, we are sitting in third place. So last year, we were well above expectation. We were well above. This year, again, I think we were. We were st there. 1,000 to 1. We are a thousand to one to win the league, and currently we're, we're three points off top after seven games. But this is what we're looking at. So we're ten points clear of relegation at the minute. As long as we can survive in the division, we should be happy. But the fact that we are going into European competition next month, we get the draw in June. It's an exciting time ahead. I'm absolutely over the moon to be heading to European competition as we take part in the Europa Conference League soon. You can see here, finish in the relegation playoffs with 10 points clear. Be competitive in the league, in the cup. We've gone through to the next round. Soon on this screen will be European football for the first time ever.